Welcome to New Game Plus. <laughs> You're listening to a retro gaming podcast where three guys spend seven days playing one old game and then we talk about it. My name's Dustin. My name's Kenny. Dr. Nolan. And this is episode 286. And the Steam Summer Cell <laughs> is now live. Uh huh. I was wondering and if it, you'd do this. It will be until July 8th. So if you're listening to this in the year 2021 of our Lord and uh, want to buy some cheapy games, then head on over to Steam. We're not being sponsored by them. We we typically bring this up on an annual basis, but our, our excitement level has significantly decreased. It used to be a really fun thing that we actually looked forward to. And now I think it's just something that creeps up on us. And then we look and if we're, you know... We're, it's still good sales, I think. It's just a different kind of experience. Yeah, I kind of don't care. Yeah, <laughs> I, I figured coming into this that neither of you would care. Wait, no, I didn't say that. Well, okay. Nolan, I, Nolan cares a little bit. <laughs> uh, but, okay, Kenny, why don't you care? How about that? Mostly because I'm a finicky gamer and I'm not at a place where I need new games. Like, I when I buy stuff or what I buy is nonsense so uh, you're rich and you don't need a sale to get you your games no i'm just still entertained by things i've been playing forever now right. and haven't gotten over those i'm pulling uh, it up now i mean i, I well, looked at it last night yeah um I, okay i that doesn't make sense kenny <laughs> like we game what you can find a game on yeah, there we play, but he's saying we play he's, old he's, games though and you find a game and then you play StarCraft 2 for the next 20 years. Like, you don't or buy Hades. these. The original one. Yes, yeah, still oh. playing some StarCraft, still playing Hades, still yeah. playing Slay the Spire, still playing DCSS. Like, I've got so many things on my plate. I am still thumbing through it and processing it. Like, I plan to buy one or two games. Um, yeah. Red Dead 2 is tempting. It's 40 yes. bucks. I think it's um, down for sure. Yeah, like that's that's not bad. There, yeah. I mean, there's most games are going to be on sale at least to some degree during most the Steam of, Summer yes. Sale. If not, they're not going to be selling. Like that, that's the whole purpose. So yeah, you've and... got you got tons of games like Master Chief Collection is half off. Emmy Legendary Edition is down fifty dollars to already got it. fifty dollars, which you already that, got it. That I should buy. That I should buy. Yeah, Nolan and I have said that you would you could probably really you enjoy should. that game. Here's the thing. Hades is down 30%. I've never played it. Oh. And I'm contemplating. Oh, after DCSS, you would absolutely. I, I've just watched I, people. I, the music is so good. Yeah. it's The music is excellent. I don't think... I think you should wait till, till it goes on sale even further. I think you no. would enjoy the game, but you would only play through the storyline. I don't think it will have the long-term appeal for you that it has for some people that like the genre more. I think you'll love how they do story, but not fall in head over But you. it's that crawl gameplay with story and awesome characters and dialogue. I think Dustin would like it more than you, Kenny, if you played it. Yeah, that's actually... That's the impossible. way that you just described it makes it yeah. sound very tempting to me. The sale, um, though, I mean, every year we say this, I'm going to do it again, but... The fl the lack of flash sales and just like um, being at work and getting a notification that such and such is on sale for the next two hours right. at like ten dollars five dollars you're like that that was what the Steam sale was and they lost it because they probably weren't making as much money as they are now yeah I don't know why but I I don't look to it anymore you know yeah I don't know why either and, and I agree with you it's funny that we still look back on that because i swear now that's probably like five or six years ago like it's not like it's a recent change it was a they, rush though oh no it was so exciting but but the cool thing is with this is it doesn't it doesn't fluctuate from the start of the sale to the end that much but there still are some really good sales you know and so i still haven't played dishonored 2 and we love dishonored oh, the yeah. first one i haven't either. did you ever play the second one no you didn't no but the first one's incredible first one's incredible second one is uh down only 12 dollars. there's this art game called gris that came out a few years yeah, back yeah i remember um, have, and I, it's only, it's for seven dollars. And then here's one other thing that I'm really contemplating on buying. I need both of y'all. I mean, no one's obviously gonna have the stronger opinion here uh, from experience. 
I still haven't played and wonder if I would actually really like Sekiro. You would not. <laughs> so you're saying it's more yeah. Dark Souls than than like Assassin's Creed? No. Oh, it's not like Assassin's Creed. Um, it, it's assassin-y. It's, it's, it's on okay. top of roofs. Okay, it's... it's yes. Okay, it's somewhat like Assassin's Creed, but like... I know it's boss battles. Yeah, and that's what I think you'd be like, I'm done. Because it's rage. I think yeah. you'd be rage. I rage, but I rage at everything. I watched... I think you would be... You rage at Rocket League. <laughs> that game sucks. <laughs> um, I want you to play it. I want you to love it. Hey, I finally watched the Elden Ring. Speaking of uh, Sekiro, I finally watched the Elden Ring trailer, and it looks like Dark Souls 4. <laughs> Written by George yeah. R. R. Martin, which is sick. I'm down. Yeah. But, but uh, um, skip Sekiro, I think. Oh, okay. Cool. Easy for me. Kenny, any alt alternative? I just... No, I just think neither of us think you actually like video games. Either of us play a game that we like, and you're, you're like, like, would I be into it? Watch. And we're both like, no, you don't like <laughs> playing video games. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Who who plays video games most out of us three? You. Uh, I don't I know what Kenny does. I think it might be does. Kenny, honestly. I don't know what Kenny does with his life. Probably. Because <laughs> really, I don't... I mean... I'm always looking for a new game for my wife and I to be playing. And right now yeah. we're kind of stuck. You know, we've, we've, we've played a lot of the good ones. And then every once in a while, I've got one that I'm, that I've, so I've got Horizon Zero Dawn that I'm playing, but I've just slowly, I'm not playing ton. I'm not playing tons of it. Yeah. Um, it's probably Kenny. I definitely play the least. And I think Dustin, you're a perfect balance of like how much you game. Well, uh, with the Steam Summer Sale, everybody go look. There might be something that you're looking for. I wasn't planning originally on buying anything, but the more that I've looked into it, I guess that I'm an organ transplant now because I've had a change of heart. Um, like in our retro, like in our retro game of the week, Trauma Center Under the Knife. Overview. Trauma Center Under the Knife is it deserves that kind of voice i think Not just with a title like that is a simulation game the whole uh, thing developed for, no i can't <laughs> okay. i want to kind of keep episode. it up but everyone would be mad yeah what if i just pulled like a ross and just changed my voice randomly and you guys i'm oh, sorry friends references Ra aren't welcome here. Ugh, get that off this nintendo podcast. ds title not 3ds out no not 3ds unlike we said Dustin said multiple times last no, week. I think all of us ended up saying I it. said it too. Like, you told us. We don't know anything about the game. We're like, what game are you playing? And you're like, it's this 3DS title. And we're like, you, cool. You knew it wasn't on 3DS because that console is a lot later than this one. Yes. That's fair. Nintendo DS title um, developed by Atlas and um, came out mid-2000s. Uh, what what 2005? Yeah, okay. yeah, 2005. 2005. So we're you. kind of right mid. Thank you. <laughs> right. And if you need to picture this game, it's the popularity of TV shows like ER, Scrubs, told, uh, told in the fashion of like a Japanese sort of manga graphic novel style, with everything that entails. Uh, coupled with the idea of like the old board game operation, but kind of like as a as like a sim in a held hail in a handheld stylus driven format. Uh, yes. That sounds ridiculous. So, you know that, right? I, oh, but it's yeah, and it one hundred. It's accurate though. <laughs> so <laughs> I, it's so I, accurate. I, I never had physically a DS. No one, you for sure did. Yes, and I'm so pumped about this episode that okay. we're doing a DS title. That's exciting. Yeah. Because we haven't before, right? Ever. Right. This no. is our first worth, DS title. It's worth pointing out that this is our very, very I first. had every DS, and that's saying something. There were like six or seven di different kinds of DSs. <laughs> you had the 4DS? The 5DS? No. It, it didn't do numbers. It did DS Lite. It did... 3DS? Uh, well, yeah. DS. <laughs> DS Pro D D's DSDs. Okay. Um, Kenny, you did not have a DS. I didn't. Okay. 
And I, I think I may have already said that, nor did I. So I've never played a physical DS game. I know that this is silly, okay? I know that it's stylus, and I know that it's double screen, right? It flips up. Yep. And there's yep. a screen up top and a screen on bottom. Yep. Stylus primarily for the bottom screen? Only for the bottom screen. Only homie. for the bottom screen. Okay. Top Only is not for the touch. bottom screen. And then you've got four buttons on the right, and then you've got your D-pad on the left, D -pad. along with two shoulder uh, buttons. Yes. Uh, a shoulder button on each side. Okay. No. Um, very cool. What Was a D was Nintendo... And again, I'm sorry, I just don't know. Handheld, I'm so in the dark here. You're good, I got Was you. it super popular and successful? The most successful thing they've ever done. I can, I can say that confidently. The DS... <laughs> All the way through the 3DS was incredibly popular. Seriously, the go look at the numbers. Most successful thing they've ever done. Besides, it's more the Wii. successful than Nintendo. The I mean, the sorry, than uh, oh, uh, than Mario. Okay, in this the console Nintendo. category. Okay, you in know the what handheld console category, in the mid 2000s, it's the most successful thing they ever done. <laughs> most successful touchscreen game they've ever released. I don't know why y'all are trolling me right now. Like. Go look at the numbers. No. The DS was insanely, insanely popular and sold millions and millions and millions. Of yeah, years. the DS was a really big wow. deal and and did what portable is supposed to do. All the kids were carrying them around for like, like a parents decade. Shoved them in their faces, right? And there were and there were multiple like versions, so you kind of get that leaning into it too. So it was, many games it was a too. big thing for it to not be kind of on our radar, Dustin. But it, it really was after our time, I think. Yeah, 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 for sure. But why aren't kids losing their stylus? Like, it, I feel oh, like that would do. be a massive thing. They just sell, that's, that's they sell them separately. Yeah, I'm a, I'm thinking as a parent now. Uh, but like, also, handheld's I, I, not for kids? What are y'all talking about? Y'all are acting like I it's mean, past it, your it, time. What do you mean? Well, what? I have I, an association of handhelds being more popular with kids than with adults. That's phones. unfortunate I know, for you. I know it. I know it's not um, fair. I mean, Nintendo's generally true. people generally think like out of the consoles, the big three, like Nintendo's the kitty one. But I mean, y'all both know it's not true. Um, yeah, right. But handheld, I, it, like Nintendo, just dominates handheld. I don't know. Oh sure. yeah, nobody else even really tries. Yeah. So this was 2005, so it's one of the latest games, newest games, and newest consoles, might be the newest console that we've ever played. That's why we haven't, I, I would imagine Nintendo DS had a, a fairly large ca uh, catalog of games, but, yeah. but this is the first Nintendo DS game that we've drawn on this podcast in the last 285 games that have randomly been selected. And 2005, I think we played a 2006 game now, but this is one of the newest yeah. consoles and games that we played. So keep that in mind as we talk about how this game is aged and whether or not we like it and all of those things. It's one of the newest, one of the most recent games. Kenny, you've got to give a story anime story here because it is anime they do all the like before he uh does his uh surgery each time he does this anime action um i, I want you to no no don't don't i want you to give an anime in fact if you want to do it in japanese that's completely fine but at least give us a <laughs> premise of what this story and game's about okay uh each it's the is only that... word I know in Japanese. It's one. Okay, nice. <laughs> Don't know how to say B, or I'd make fun of my normal uh, listing yeah. of numbers. Um, so yeah, you, I don't think have emphasized enough how over the top this game is. It, you start and you're sort of like, okay, this is already ridiculous because of the characters that are interacting in this hospital that are just way too much. And then you get magic powers. Well, and spoiler. then you save the world. Okay, like, hold on, is, golly! But also, it's the, over the, top. the virus what? is called guilt that is okay. plaguing. I mean, hey, jumping. Clear alerts. We're jumping Listen, right to the end here. Yeah, what are you doing at when, during the, this part of our podcast? You talk about the the setup and how the game begins, and you're simply Derek Styles, a young doctor who is joining a new hospital and is doing his first surgeries. That's what you could have said. Instead, right. you said saving the world, magical touch. Well, because yeah. it 
Because it's too much. You're Derek Styles, who's weird, emotional, swingy, that's a super competent surgeon, that's then immediately uncomfortable with his skills. Yeah, and then the weird, like, <laughs> posing and the face open. It's time to do well, surgery! Listen, <gasps> that, it's this ridiculous. is very common by Atlas because they do a bunch of, like, anime series, like the Megami Tensei series, which is, like, really popular, like, just straight-up anime game. Basically, and I mean, there's and different. And they elements. do Moomin. Moomins? Oh. No, they don't. They don't. <laughs> but that's another. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> anime? Like, it's not at all the same. Uh, yeah, same world. I think, in fact, on <laughs> stage four, you operate on a Moomin troll. Oh. Uh, I wish. Okay, so yes. So get that in your mind. It's a new game, newish game. It is super anime. And it is oper it's virtual operation. With that in yeah. mind, let's talk about uh, how the game plays. Gameplay. This game was the perfect moment to introduce a trauma surgery sim. Because the stylus. Like, can, can we just talk about how perfect it was for them to go... We literally have, like, the tool to do this thing now and haven't. Like, what a perfect time to pull the trigger. Can you start in gameplay? Weird yeah, yeah, which is wonderful. But also, hold on. Do you think they did this on purpose? Derek Styles? No, Derek Styles? Oh, Stylist? they absolutely did. I it's, really it was, just caught that. Wouldn't put it past No, them. it was an overt thing. Yeah. Where it's a shout out to the fact that you're using a stylus. His okay. Name. This is why I was so pumped that we're playing a DS game because I'm super familiar with this. And I, I love that y'all are like, this is weird. It's playing a game with a physical object other than just the buttons and the controller. Because when it first came out, obviously that was the perception of the DS. But it's actually, and, and unfortunately, y'all did not have one in your hands this week. Right. Correct? So that sucks really bad. I didn't either. I mean, I have one, but I don't have this game. That greatly affects the way that you're playing this game because when you're performing surgery, doing it with a mouse on an emulator is lame, super lame. But it, with a stylus, it, that puts you in the room doing the surgery, and that's actually really, really cool. Yeah. It is lame. I don't think it feels nearly as tactile as like holding a scalpel and yeah. the stylus looking like the scalpel would be, but it is a pretty easy proxy like you're still at least able to to do similar actions very easily you know there's sometimes that that even with like the n64 games are built for the controller and then we play it on some kind of different controller and it's like oh, it just doesn't translate well there's some of that here but at, at least if you're playing it emulated like touch versus mouse is is relatively common i I will say it's interesting to me that they even went stylus at all, but I guess 2005, this whole, like, direction of touchscreen hadn't been fully even worked out yet. You still probably had uh, Blackberries, and what was the other company yeah. that did the stylus? Palm Pilot. Um, Palm Pilot, like, yeah. as a thing. And not everybody's phone was magic There were no iPhones yet. yet. That was 2006. Yeah, and so they were... Six. 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 They were just like, let's figure out how to do touch. And I don't think anyone would do a stylus-driven game today. Like, I don't think... Technologically, I don't think you could ever get this again. And yeah. so it makes it super unique. Yes. Okay. Now, for the game, what this meant was... Okay, two screens. Top screen is not touch screen. Bottom screen is. Sorry. Um, for a lot of DS games... I mean, it depends, but like some of them were like completely touch based. The bottom screen, that's like all you do. And then other ones, you use the controller the most. And then maybe the bottom screen was like a map that you could interact with or something, right? Um, in this game, the bottom screen is like everything. And I think it works so well because you can kind of forget about the rest of the system and just hold your stylus and perform your surgery. So you, the top screen is reserved for like text and the like anime side that we keep talking about so the character portraits yes uh right. during surgery the score the time limit 
And then the bottom, like you said, that's the operation table. That's, that's the, the table, dude. That's like, the body that you're working with, and on either side of the screen, you've got 10 icons that represent your medical devices, your tools, and you click on them with a stylus. When you're in surgery, can you only use stylus, or do you have to do any buttons? I'm trying to remember. Again, emulation, I don't know. I, I was I think, so I think backwards. it might be stylus only. But then also, I'm curious. Again, I didn't play with stylus this week. Am I at a disadvantage? Because Wait, no. go ahead. I am left-handed. Oh, maybe you're used to using a mouse. That's the oh. only difference. I use my mouse like this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh, that's how you game, <laughs> right? Um, Wait, maybe. I, I no, you got that. both sides of the screen that have stuff. Uh, you're not at a disadvantage in this okay. case. In like in life in general, probably a little bit, <laughs> but not in this case. Life in general, um, they sh should anyways give scholarships to left-handed. But okay, um, I, <laughs> <laughs> you scissors. are. I'm gonna get you some scissors. There, there's tons of story going yeah. on in between that I believe that you can skip tons. if you want to. Which Kenny, uh, well, Kenny does when he's doing videos, but when you're not, you say that you're into the story, Kenny. When you're not I doing always, first place. I always, yeah, I always go through the story. Like, that's half okay. the point. I would argue well, if you skip the story here, you're missing a lot of the game. Because, yes, Oh, it's... you're missing, like, 80% of the game. Yes. There is a ton of story here. Yes. Yeah, but it is very... Um, character... It, it, it's yeah. got... <laughs> like, it's... It's, um... <laughs> it's unique. We're, we're not anime folks, and we get that people like it, but when you hear us, like, pausing... I don't. <laughs> uh, Just people kidding. Do yeah, no, but I'm it. saying, like, people do. We, like, we're trying to not, yeah. like, make fun of the style because it's not our cup of tea. I think I'm speaking for all of us. Oh, like, I'm making it's not fun our of it. thing. I, and I, 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 I love it recently because of Avatar, which is anime. I, um, oh, controversial. And no one argues with that. Yeah. I, it is, but it's not just in visual style. It's thick with anime. It's dripping with anime in... Characters, storytelling style... AI, yeah, yeah, everything, everything, facial expressions, all and, of and it. And so, so you've got that story in between, and then you go into battle <laughs> onto the operation table, and then that is the other half. If you split it in between in, into two halves, the other half of the game where you've got a timer that's ticking down, you've got a nurse that's generally working with you to, to partially guide you through the surgery, and then you are using your tools. To do very, it's obviously not a one for one for real world <laughs> stuff, but you are do like there. It's not fantastical stuff that they're making up. Like a guy comes in because he just drove his car through a glass window, and you've got to pick shards out of his insides, and then you've got to put a antibiotic yeah. gel over it, sew them back up, like do actual surgical stuff. They make you play this in yes. med school. Yeah, <laughs> but, I mean they're not going for actual realism. The guy you talked about that had the glass, like yeah. you pull out some glass that's stuck into his skin, and then you're like, oh, "There's a bunch of glass inside his body." <laughs> right, like that happens. How did he get there? There was no wounds, like from an no, anime fight just... that he had outside. Of course, that happens. Hey, uh, listen though, <laughs> the the characters up top that are guiding you through it feels very immersive. Like I'm not, it, it's it's corny. And it's a lot at times, but if you separate it, like this is the table and this is like someone that's in the room with you helping. I thought the presentation there was excellent and like really kept the pacing and made me like worry about that time limit. And so I think that like whole, um, simulating an operation table, the board game, it really did feel like that down to like the noises that are, are going on in the game. And, like, when you're making incisions, like, I don't know. I, I was able to pick up the game and re and learn it relatively quickly and actually feel like a surgeon, which is really corny to say. But, like, I don't know. They just it's, executed it. It's not it. corny. They did a great job of of that, of making it feel rewarding and engaging, of making it feel like you had to be accurate and move quickly but be competent and know what you're doing. You don't have time to like go back and relearn these things. You've got to get mastery and act quickly because there's this there's this timer. I'm totally with you, Nolan. It did a great job of selling what it was trying to sell. 
until it turns magical. We've addressed <laughs> that a big part of this game has to do with right. Harry Styles discovering that he has the healing touch. Did you say Harry right. Styles? You just you draw you draw a pentagram you draw on a your pen patient. That was my joke, you stupid idiot. It's in my <laughs> nose. You weren't quick uh, enough. And I was the one that was talking, and you thought that you would butt in Get and wrecked. Steal my joke. This game is evil. You draw a pentagram, summon the demons, and they stop time or pause time. Yeah, because um, you're playing an Atlas game, and you're like, oh, okay, this is a Dr. Sim, and then you're like, ah... This is an Atlas there game. Is. There we go. Found it. Here <laughs> okay. it is. So for those of you that haven't played, um, my joke was the pentagram. It's actually a star, but if you want to draw a circle around it you're, you, and, and do some more points, I think, then you're you're okay to do that. But it does, uh, it does slow down or freeze time. Slow down, I think. And the amount of... The problem that I had is the amount of the time that you have in healing touch mode is dependent on how accurate your star is drawn. Yeah. Which, I didn't using, the mouse, that. That's using great. a mouse, using a mouse, any kind of accuracy that is needed in this game goes out the window for yes. me because I do not have a steady hand to begin with. Yeah. And then to do it with a full hand instead of just like with a written utensil, it becomes increasingly difficult. And the the game gets really difficult too. Like I feel like at the same time, at the same like, time, right at the same time. To a point Absolutely. where you're like, this is impossible. <laughs> I, like... I legitimately feel like I would be better at actual surgery than I was at this game. I don't know. <laughs> we should try it. I would never but... let you touch me with <laughs> any sort of medical tool. I would let Kenny Healing touch me. I Okay, I think that it's the difficult... I hit a wall this week, okay? I was playing, 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 doing fairly well after I got, got it down. And then I hit a wall as soon as Healing Touch came into the mix. Because they yeah. give you some, they, they give you some increased difficulty, but then where accuracy becomes such an important thing that I hit a wall where I was, I was for the most part doing each uh, uh, operation successfully the first try. Maybe it took me a second try, but I was able to get through until I hit a wall where I spent multiple days on the same surgery being unable to succeed at it simply because I didn't have the speed needed using a mouse. Uh, to do the accurate operation stuff and that that's a huge bummer because like i was going 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 and then stop hard yes at, at least for me part of it it was learning to get over this expectation that that like accuracy is super important it does matter some and you do get like graded on how well you perform the things almost rock band style where as you're like suturing it's like okay or like bad or cool it like pops up on the screen and kind of yeah, almost like a rhythm game yeah. yeah exactly but early on i was very worried about like making like these even sutures that went like all the way across right. the cuts and all this stuff and i learned pretty quickly time is much more of a factor okay. and Absolutely. you gotta just like you gotta haul that is the primary thing is just go fast which again is Folks cool are gonna to die. Me. It, it's hard it's very hard especially very with hard. the mouse but like, um, that that uh, pressure is good. I like that kind of that gameplay style. I think it's effective. You almost have to have it if you're going to be doing yes. surgery OR sim. And yeah. and they leaned into it hard, giving you the time limits, giving you the the heartbeat and the vitals right. and the noises that would go with it. They tried really hard to make sure that you were feeling the pressure, and even of sort of the importance of what you're doing like early on like you're surgerying on people people may live or die based on you and they did not pull punches there they got crazy and silly and magical but they didn't forget the sim part that's yeah. that's a really important key they kept the sim part in there when when necessary so and and linking us back to the story elements because like y'all i mean i think kenny said it's like 75 percent of the game or something like that but i i, I think that that the story element was cool because it adds another degree of like intensity to the operations and to the surgery. There's a, there's a moment where you are early on and it's part of the story where you do a surgery well, but you, but your nurse is like, man, so, this hasn't gotten stable. We need to look at this or look at that. And because you have to go to a symposium or something like that, you, your character is like, no, no, I'm not going to do that to find out that there was something wrong. And then to deal with that and be, 
sad about that, depressed about that, and then know that okay, I've got to, I've got to, I've got to do better in this, like that whole kind of. And, and I only got through a portion of the story again because I hit a wall. But I imagine that continues because I know, like y'all were saying, the guilt uh, virus yeah. and these other things to play like it really continues to up the ante of how important these operations yeah. are and your career as a doctor mm -hmm. I, I think that i think it really works well hand in hand there's a lot at stake aged it's 2021 nobody is except nolan who doesn't have the game itself is actually slinging a physical ds not an original we, one. Those things are. I mean, bricks. Some, yeah. I, I mean, some of some of our audience maybe because yes, you certainly. know, like the whole point of retro games, you're going to get your enthusiasts and people have it, but a lot of people aren't going to have this sitting there as an option to play on real hardware. I think the the difference there, and we talked about it some already, but in in how the game plays, um, is probably worth discussing as a as a really significant aging factor. No, okay. Nolan, it is. No, it, that's okay. the biggest aging factor. That's here. but but we don't say. Not a lot of people have a Sega Genesis in 2021. This is an aging factor because after correct. we don't say correct that, and it's correct a because correct because the way that it's emulated today is 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 almost identical to the way that it was right. emulated then. The way if that I this was, is emulated here today is not identical. You can buy a touchpad and plug it into your if, computer. That's what I'm saying. If I was an artist and like yeah. had a touchpad sitting in front of me where that was an option. Like maybe it's not as much of a concern. I refuse I'm sure to let this a be bit more reality. a factor for me. Y'all can, but no, I, no. I refuse because I'll tell you, no, you it's no, it's no different than saying I don't own a uh, SNES anymore you, because it's no, an old you, console. It's, it's totally different. It's not You've different. done this before on other things, and you don't want to do it now because it's I've, a. DS I've done it on arcade it. cabinets because that is different because. <laughs> Because no one had an arcade in their home. It's not we're, home consoles and arcades are very uh, different, and the experience is like, very different. Maybe like a sh maybe like an arcade shooter. No, the we just talked about this and all agreed. The arcade environment is a huge factor in why you play arcade games and how you enjoy them. This yeah. one was an on the on the go. Just this was a console no different than any console you have in your right. home, other than it's and portable. If you <laughs> the interface is completely different. If you can emulate things and, and experiences and environments in the same way in 2021 that you could in the late 80s, mid 90s, early 2000s, uh, then then it's not much of a consideration and a conversation. But the times that you can't, I think it should be a conversation. I, I wondered this week if, because this, this can be emulated on Mac as well, I wonder if having a touchpad in your finger is better than a mouse no. or worse. That would be way really? worse to me. Yeah, because those are so inaccurate. Because it's not, it's um still a yeah. mouse. The touchpad is still yeah, a mouse. Right, and it's harder right, with your right. finger. Um, mm. Yeah, it's just hmm. unfortunate. Like, y'all, I think your perspective, wherever you land, I don't know, but your perspectives would be so much more in the positive direction if you would have physically had the stylus. And I yes. don't know that, obviously, but like... That's what we're saying! It's an no, I know. I'm just saying it's such an enjoyable experience with um, with the DS to play games like this because there are a lot of DS games that did not... The main point was not the touchscreen. Yes, it was utilized, but it wasn't like... You could... you could By y'all's argument, you could play some DS games emulated and use a controller and not feel like you missed yes. the experience but this one being so uh focused on it i think like just i know i know that it's done so well if even if i since i didn't play it with a stylus i still know that because that system just worked and this would like kenny said this was before iphones and like touch as a as a technology was really fleshed out and I, I think i don't know i think it ages okay especially no, if you nintendo's know. nintendo's innovative they're not afraid to do touch when nobody's done it yes a stylus worked well for then and it works perfectly for this game it's just a little bit harder to go back and get that full accurate experience of how well it does fit today Less of a hurdle than some things. I arcades may even be worse. Like a mouse versus touch is relatively easy to sure. to go one to one. It's not like we couldn't play it or or accurately judge the game, but you do miss out not kind of getting the full uh, sort of hands on version of it. 
So, graphically, I think that it it's exactly what it's going for. It's very stylized, we've already discussed, uh, and, and the anime style of how it's presented carries over into the way that it looks. But I... Th- one of the things that's remarkable, and I guess it's, it's early 2000s, so I, it's a lot more recent, but I mean, it holds up to any games that's doing the same thing today, I feel like. Like, e- even yeah. with the, especially on the top screen, on the bottom screen, it's fairly simplistic. You know, the body parts of what you're looking at, you're not seeing all the uh, varicose veins, and you're not seeing <laughs> all the uh, cytoplasms, yeah. and you're not seeing all the white blood cells photosynthesis a powerhouse of the cell but you are um but but it's it's exactly what it should be i think no i they hit a sweet spot they easily could have gone too medically realistic or like too like gory or gross and like leaned into that and it wouldn't have been as successful they could have gone too detailed or even more simple where you like didn't recognize body parts or things didn't feel different. I I feel like they really did hit a sweet spot of it looks and feels like a game, but it's clear what's going on and still feels like you're doing surgery somehow, even though you're, you know, not. And again, splitting the screens like that, where the top screens reserved for the more artistic graphics and like the rendered stuff makes it look like a, more like an anime like a tv show and then the bottom one slightly worse graphics in general but but like you can interact with them and still know what they are yeah i think they pulled it off well and it has that ds look to it y'all don't know what i'm talking about um but it there's like all the ds games not all of them but a lot of them did like this grid uh just trade uh, just a grid on the lower screen so like in between surgeries you'll see it like um on like the the post-op screen or like before one starts and i think it all just comes back to like i don't know what they all used a grid because like touch i don't know like it just made sense to kind of like pinpoint stuff like that right is this game more an interactive graphic novel than it is a surgery simulator no it's half and half i think think it's it's perfectly split yeah I, I, I think it's a surgery simulator when you're playing the, when you're doing surgeries and it's a graphic novel when you're when you're not. Uh, yeah. and, and and I like that. You know that I'm a story driven person and characters. Uh, you you've got some characterizations here for sure. I mean they're they're some pretty bold characters and I'm sure the more you play, like I really want to know if that lead doctor. Okay, so a few things. The older doctor yeah. had the magical touch, and something related to that made him stop doing surgeries. And I don't know that the reason why yet, but I that's the find out. out. <laughs> and then the and then the dark haired guy, um, that is like one of the lead surgeons, is gonna be a bad guy. I, you know, like it's yeah. got this anime thing. Like, when is the <laughs> battle gonna come down where y'all are having to do surgery on each other to right. kill each other? Right. I mean, uh, I don't know, but. To answer your question, Kenny, it's both, of course. Um, with the music, I I think it's great. Do you think it's standout of, like, is it something you'd listen to for leisure, or is it just it fits the game? I, I wouldn't. It's too genre-specific. It feels real medical, which is great. It leans really heavy into this, like, countdown timer stress thing. Which I don't want that. Just as not what I nice listen to in the background music of my life, you know, I'm like washing dishes and like worried that right. I'm not going to finish in time because it's my soundtrack. So it's it's well done for what it is, but not something I would ever just like listen to again. Ditto. Okay, I I think we're all in agreement there. Yeah. It, it's a it's a game and a series that was successful because it certainly continued on past this game. Uh, many sequels. The second opinion was the one that came out after. It was a sequel <laughs> and a remake. You're kidding? Yeah. No, no, no. Oh, but it I was love a it. sequel in the game. It was a sequel and a remake of this one for the Wii. Oh, yeah. that's great. So it, they 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 gave you difficulty <gasps> settings. Yeah, they give oh, difficulty what? settings and various things. So I've heard that it is the superior version. Oh. Um, and then there is Trauma Center New Blood. That's the third one. And then the fourth <laughs> one is Trauma Center Under the Knife 2 for the DS, which was a an immediate uh, sequel. I love that that came these out names. In 2008. And then the final one was Trauma Team. That's the final entry in 2010. I love so, those are Kenny names for games. Plenty. I love that. Yeah, they delivered. 
plenty of plenty of trauma center for you if you're a fan uh, to get this game it's cheap dude 12 dollars uh used and only 20 dollars new new what yeah wow and that might just be because it's a recent game they're still Maybe. making it today you know i don't know no <laughs> <laughs> but yeah 20 dollars if you so like nolan you could have eat well i don't know about time but t like if you would have gotten it in time but you could have easily gotten one and played it on the hardware this week i should have that would have been a lot of fun. Yeah. That's worth spending NGP money on. Yeah. Final thoughts. At the end of each and every one of our episodes, we determine whether or not the game gets our vote for New Game Plus status, which is our general thumbs up or thumbs down. Does require two thirds of the vote to swing one way or the other. Kenny, you begin. Yeah. Um, so I don't love this game, but I did like a lot of things about it. Uh, very innovative, fits the time, shows off the DS so well, and that's super welcome. Uh, it's it's too story heavy for me, um, which it, it gets a little outlandish and a little hard to swallow. Again, that's not like a style that I generally fall into personally. And some of the gameplay does get a little bit repetitive, though they do try and break it up with like different styles of surgery and you know the story elements in between. Um, it's got some weird difficulty spikes that I think we haven't talked about yet, but that are probably worth mentioning. But outside of that, I think very solid game that's not generally my like cup of tea tone-wise, but a lot of people will like it, shows off the game well, made cohesively, well thought through, and I think there's a good uh, there's enough good things about it that it's worth um, telling people to to go and check out. So they can decide for themselves. So yeah, I'm going to say NGP status for me, though I'm not like head over heels for it. All right. I think that the story, we've, we've communicated a couple times that it's really a half and half game. It's a visual novel story, and then it's a surgery stimulation. The, the story side of things, I really do think it's going to be hit or miss for the gamer. I, I think that... Some are going to like it and it's going to be great. And then I think some are going to skip through it. And I, I disagree with what y'all said earlier. I think you can still have an enjoyable experience playing this game without in, in, engaging in the story. Like, I think you're going to, you're going to, it's not going to be as robust, of course, but you're still going to get the surgery simulation because it's those two different ga game types smashed together. So I think regardless of if the story and the anime flair works for you or not, not i think the gameplay is certainly worth experiencing and is a lot of fun even today with the hang up of not being able to play with a stylus if you can play on original hardware this is a 1000 percent yes because even today it would be an exciting and novel experience especially because that's not what the modern gaming you know world is like but even if you have to emulate today, I think that it is worth playing. And you can get a good portion into the game with a mouse before you hit a wall. Uh, like at least an hour, hour and a half of game time before it's like, uh-oh. Like I've got to figure something out here or, you know, or really use healing touch well to make this magical experience even better. So I also say, yes, it's definitely worth playing today and give it my vote for New Game Plus status. I'm shocked but happy um being a ds fan boy and having a ton of experience with the ds 3ds whatever ds um i can confidently say that this game is an excellent uh ds game and it's like kenny said it shows off the console so well and on the surface i did not think it would i like as a concept i was like well that makes sense but i was like i don't know if this is gonna work but it totally does and i'm not into anime but like even that portion of it was enjoyable for me because what dustin said like you start to get little hints of each character and like some storylines and stuff like that and it just adds to it i th i think it's so fun and yes absolutely give this ngp i'm shocked uh, second opinion and new blood all day, every day. Yeah. That means that Trauma Center Under the Knife is New Game Plus certified. But what did you think? We had many people write in and many people vote on YouTube. We had 420 or 420 Bl blaze votes. It. 
on YouTube. 45% said yes, it's certainly a game worth playing today. Only 6% said no, go play something else. And 49% have never played it. So still an overwhelming amount yes. uh, have never played the game before. Which, I'm not surprised. Yeah, I, I guess that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, and then many of our community members wrote in, won't be able to include all of those thoughts, but I will include a few of those today. Cecil said... It either says something about this game or it says something about me that for all the truly remarkable innovations in gameplay styles and touchscreen and motion control utilization, the reason I have to recommend the Trauma Center series is the absolutely buck wild medical drama it tells. <laughs> This franchise, and Under the Knife in particular, just flies off the rails and never comes down, and I love every minute of it. The DS version makes a fantastic proof of concept for the series, and while I would recommend the Wii remake over this for its improved controls and difficulty settings, if you lack the means to play or procure the Wii version but have access to the DS, I would heartily give it NGP status. Uh, to answer his question, it does say something about him. I'm kind of surprised that the Wii version is recommended over the over the DS one. To me, DS me usually is like the superior version, I think. Uh, this is, uh, again, my ignorance. How easy is it to emulate Wii today? Very. Okay. Instead of uh, motion, it's just mouse? Oh, I don't know. What? Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> easy, easy, but I don't know. That I don't it, know. It's never going to feel the same. It is easy, but I don't know how that works. <laughs> All right. Nice. Nice. Uh, Lieutenant Pat X said, little did I know that I would end up not as Dr. Pat X and more like little brother of Dr. Hannibal Lecter cutting open patients left and right. Organs and blood everywhere. Remove a tumor <laughs> using the Powell method. A piece of cake. Uh, in principle, at least. Let's see. A laparotomy was not that difficult. Disinfect the abdominal wall and then slice it open with a scalpel. The nurses cheer. The senior doctor distributes cool points or cool points. The internal hymns of praise are only drowned out by the increasing beeping of the monitor. Oh, wait. Safe to say NGP for sure. Uh, didn't follow you. All over the place. Uh, didn't follow you. All over the place. Next caller. Next caller, please. Uh, I, he was, you know, he he's was in living the, drama. the surgery experience. He's in the drama. He's in the drama. Yeah, uh, clearly, it pulls you. It pulls you in. It it t sucks you into the moment. Uh, speaking of sucking in, I hated the vial that you had to suck all the like blood out. Oh, oh that grossed yeah. you out. Well, you know what? A lot is gross here. Like, my wife would not be able to play this game no. because it's it's very like the cutting, again. Yeah, the like when you cut, it's like kinda... again, you're yeah, you're in there like <laughs> sucking blood gross. out, grabbing a vein and putting it on another. Like, it's it's disgusting. Yeah. Clint said Trauma Center is a series I found as a kid of happy accident many years ago while looking for DS games. Even though I had never been able to get past Chapter 2 until this week, it was a game I often thought about and would return to, even buying the two Wii title titles. The first of which is a great remake of Under the Knife. The story in the games, while a bit cliche and forced, grips me in a really good way. When I think of DS titles, this is one of the few I would herald as really transforming gameplay through the addition of the system's touchscreen capabilities. Uh, even though it was essentially at the expense of utilizing any form of button controls. Are there flaws? Sure. Is it crazy hard? Absolutely. Would I give this game my vote for NGP? Guilty as charged. Okay. I'm surprised of... Uh, I'm surprised about how um, positive everyone's opinion is of this game. I, I, I agree, obviously. But, like, I just thought people would be a little more critical of it. Why? Because it's not a well-known DS game, and usually those kind of went under the radar, or it was like Clin, where it's like you accidentally play a game like this, and yeah. so, I don't know. Yeah. Well, the, the fun thing is most 
people when they're looking for video games as kids are looking for uh, oh, yeah. games where you can beat up or kill people. And this one's the reverse. <laughs> You're looking to rescue yeah. and save people in medical scrubs. That's true. So, yeah, it is not going to be everybody's first pick, probably. Uh, finally, Garlisle said, Under the Knife started a series of fantastic human drama and even more fantastic medical action that I consider one of my favorites of its era, hmm. if not of all time. So it's with a heavy heart that I struggle to recommend this title, mainly for two reasons. One, if you can't play it with at least some sort of touch-capable hardware, a mouse just can't keep up. This is already a game where many players swore by using two styluses in tandem due to its intense late-game difficulty. Oh, that's good. That's kind of cool. That's I very could see cool. It. Oh, Can it accept it's surgery? That's so like. Does the touchscreen uh -huh. accept two inputs? I don't at, think at so, time? no, but they're just saying like one to quickly yeah. select and then the other to do the surgery, I think. And, and second, the Wii remake released only a year later is an improvement in every way. Wow. Presentation, control, difficulty, options, quality of life features, extra content, everything. Wow, I want to try it. Everyone should experience at some point, but of the five titles, this is the weakest in the series by a notable margin. If that's wow. true, if true, right. yeah. Right. What? I gotta Which play makes those. sense. If the first game in the series is New Game Plus certified and we right. enjoyed it, and it's the weakest in the series, it's true. That's a good sign. Sequels are always better. Like yeah. I want to go dive in too. Like, yeah. Give me that scalpel, y'all. Interesting. <laughs> give me that scalpel, y'all. Uh, which is the subtitle of New Blood. Right. So yeah. you can. Uh, <laughs> Listen, send in your thoughts each and every week on the Retro Game of the Week. We can't include everyone's thoughts, but we'd love to try to include your thoughts as a part of next week's episode. But for now, we're going to set aside Under the Knife, and we're going to randomly select, but not from our massive Retro Master list. Oh, no, why? Because yeah. we are starting the Summer Pool Party. Artie, 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 Artie. That's also, I believe, where... Uh, uh, Tom, I, I went through Clint Garlisle and Tom, <laughs> where you'll input the audio there for Summer Pool Party, I believe. I don't remember where it comes up. And from this much smaller cold list of patrons that support us at $5 or more, we've got games in here in this randomizer, like, goodness, all over the place. Uh, Jet Set Radio from Jessica. We've got Mega Man Zero 2 and Survival Kids from Ace of Pain. We've got tons of Super Metroid in here. A lot of oh. our people banded together and said we're going to try to get Super Metroid. Oh so gosh. an overwhelming amount of Super Metroid in here. But crazy. Dominique put in games like The Legend of Zelda, Oracle of Ages, and Oracle <gasps> of Seasons. We've got Day of the Tentacle by Starquake. Oh, We've got um, Eggs of Steel, Charlie's Excellent Adventure Wait. by Noel. Awesome. Noel. That's by know. Atlas. It's by Atlas. Oh, no, no, no. Not another Atlas game. <laughs> Please, no. <laughs> Uh, we've got Star Ocean for the Super Famicom by Luci Luciano. We've got tons of games in here, but a lot less than our regular randomizer. For the first pool of the summer, we are going to be playing... We're going to be playing a JRPG. Uh-oh. So it's not Super Metroid. Okay. Okay. I was gonna. It, I was gonna wonder how you were gonna sell Super Metroid as a JRPG. Was Sorry, JRPG. developed. It was de no Metroid is a Metroidvania. All right. It was developed by Game Arts and published by Entertainment Software Publishing originally for the Sega Saturn and then for the PlayStation and most recently released on the Nintendo Switch. Okay. Worth the re-release is a good sign. It is a game notable for its combat mechanics, which have been carried over to future games in the franchise. And a franchise starter. Good right. sign. It's know. set in a fantasy world of emerging technology and exploration where you are a young boy named Justin who inherits a magical stone that leads him on a journey to experience and discover, rediscover a long lost civilization. Wow, that it was a game unique. submitted by Kyle Shreve and Charlie Hoffman. We are going to be playing Grandia. Heard of it. I think this is good. Is it Grandia or Grandia? It's the latter. Okay. Um, 
Wait, we haven't played this? <laughs> no. Why do I feel no. like we played this? Because well, oh, because it's j very JRPG. Yeah, because Every it's... JRPG sounds exactly the same. Yeah. Why. So here's the, here's the interesting thing. Kyle uh, submitted Grandia for the PS for the PlayStation. Charlie submitted it for the Sega Saturn. The one that was pulled was the Sega Saturn. Uh, we'll have to see. Uh, like, I would rather play on PlayStation if it's the same game, just ported over. I'll have to see. But if not, we'll be playing the Sega Saturn version because uh -huh. that is the one that was selected. Okay. Got okay. it. Yeah. Now, everybody, grab a copy of Grandia. Play it with us this week. But do know, if you are not yet a patron, become one. Because for the entire month of July, we are going to be doing back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back Patreon pools. It's going so to be ludicrous. Hype. At some point, we'll probably play Super Metroid if they keep up with the trend. I don't know. But for now, we're playing Grandia. After you become a patron, you can get benefits in our Discord server, like your name changing colors. Go to ngppodcast.com and click join us in Discord to get chatting. We want to say welcome to a number of new patrons who... Uh, jumped on board just in time for some of the pool party fun. They put on their uh, swim trunks. They yeah. put on their trunks and dived into the deep end of the retro gaming world. Dove in. Uh, yeah. Um, those people include Pedro, Alex, Shane, and Ken, wow. our, uh, our Apple II fanatic, who bumped Ken, his yeah. contribution up as well. Thanks. Thanks, Ken. Good to hear from you. Um, we want to say a big thank you to the rest of our producer-level supporters as well. Um, Anthony, Amarly, and Austin, Ben, Bethany Fox, Carrie, Dan the Man, Francesca, Corey, Maxima, Nawel, Secret Duck of Evermore, Shauna, Thomas, Unbedavable, Wardanis, William, and Zion. And a doubly big shout-out to our director-level supporters, Antonin, Garlisle, Brojim, and Jordan. Um, thanks so much, guys. We are hyped for this summer pool party. So hyped. Yeah, and uh, hi, I'm Josh. We don't want to forget you. Kenny did uh, forget Ooh. to add you to the producer oh, list last week. Oh, I did. Kenny. Bye, I'm not program. Josh anymore. Apologies. Like, he's going to stop supporting us because you suck. I, oh. I dropped the ball. You can follow us on social media. That's Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube. All of those links are in the show notes. Listen directly on any podcast provider of your choice. Make sure you subscribe so that you are the first to get new NGP episodes. And while you're at it, leave a kind rating and a review. This episode was edited and produced by our good friend Tom Tate. Join us next week for the first pool party episode as we play Grandia. Or Grandia. Man, I'll have to figure it out. Roll Until then. All right. Grandia. Until then, <laughs> I'm still Dustin Styles. I'm the nurse. I'm Scapple Boy. Okay. And this has been New Game Plus.